now we are going to discuss on methods of integration so the first method what we are going to discuss is substitution method now what is the peculiarity of substitution method in the given expression or the expression which we have to integrate we will have the function whose derivative is also present inside the function such as for an example i can give it as uh, integral of 2x into i mean 2x into sin of x square plus 1 okay this is the first question 2x into sin of x square plus 1 now if you look at what is the derivative of x square plus 1 derivative of x square plus 1 derivative of x square is 2x and that of 1 is 0 so i can say that if i substitute for u is equal to x square plus 1 what is du isn't it 2x dx yes or no yeah so i will be substituting x square plus 1 with u and 2x dx which is here will be replaced with du so what will this integral be now which becomes integral of sin u this expression is now u into 2x dx 2x dx is du sin u du what is the integral of sin u minus of cos u plus c but we cannot leave it in terms of u rather we have to substitute it back for i mean resubstitute for u as x square plus 1 so this is called the substitution method okay i shall give you one more question of the similar one similar kind that is question is integral of 1 by x plus x log x into dx now looking at the question as such you want you you may not feel like there is a function whose derivative is specifically given i can write this as i can take a one common outside so it becomes i mean sorry x common outside it becomes 1 plus log x now do you find any function in this particular expression which gives you the derivative which is also there in this function yes that is if i take u is equal to 1 plus log x what is the derivative the u is equal to 1 by x dx isn't it or not so this expression can be now written as 1 by u because 1 plus log x is u 1 by x dx or dx by x is now du so what do i get log u plus c what is log u log of 1 plus log x plus c so this is the integral for 1 by x plus x log x okay now let's see more problem on this substitution method now let's discuss some more questions so here derivative of this expression inside the root won't i get an x we will check it put u is equal to 1 plus 2x square what is du du becomes 4 what derivative of 1 is 0 2 into 2 4x into dx. So I can write this as du by 4 is equal to x dx. Now that x dx is here in this expression. So this can be written as root u into du by 4, where 1 by 4 is a constant. What is the integral of root x? That is u raised to the power of half plus 1 by half plus 1 plus c, which is equal to 1 by 4 into this gives you 3 by 2 that is 2 by 3 2 by 3 times u raised to the power of 3 by 2 isn't it plus c now 2 goes here twice then the final answer will be 1 by 6 u is what 1 plus 2x square raised to the power of 3 by 2 plus c okay we got a little congested there but i hope you can understand that okay so this is the answer coming next one substituting for this i may take a 1 by root x common out from these two terms so what do i get root x minus 1 into dx isn't it or not now i take u is equal to root x what is du 1 by 2 root x into dx derivative of root x 1 by 2 root x that is 2 du is equal to dx by root x don't you have a dx by root x here yes 
so I can write this as sorry here I will write as root x minus 1 because the derivative of x 1 becomes 0 so I get this as 1 by 1 by uh, dx by root x is 2 du this gives you u into 2 du that is 2 times log u plus c what is that 2 times log of root x minus 1 plus c okay that's it now coming to the next question here i take u is equal to what any guess x square so du becomes what 2x dx right so du by 2 is equal to x dx now x dx is here so i can write this as integral of what do i get integral of integral of dx dx is du by 2 1 by e raised to u into du by 2 that is 1 by 2 is a constant the integral of e raised to u e raised to u i can take this as 1 by 2 into integral of e raised to minus u into du okay integral of e raised to x is what e raised to x itself e raised to minus u is what e raised to minus u into and minus sign actually not into it is divided by minus 1 so i have this as negative of e raised to minus u plus c so resubstituting for minus i mean u i get this minus 1 by 2 into e raised to minus of x square plus c if you want, you can bring that x square down to the denominator also. That is fine. Now, coming to the next question. I substitute for u is equal to tan inverse of x. What is du now? 1 by 1 plus x square into dx. So, I have this as integral of e raised to u into du. What is integral of e raised to u? e raised to u itself. Oh, sorry. I didn't sorry. Substitute for u. That is e raised to tan inverse of x plus c. This is the integral. Okay? Yes. Now, coming to the next question. Here for what will I substitute u as u is equal to 1 plus cos x. So what is du? Minus of sin x dx. Or I can write minus of du is equal to sin x dx. Okay. So this becomes integral of sin x dx is minus of du by u square. This is same as minus of u raised to the power of minus 2 into du. What is u raised to the power of minus u? u raised to the power of minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus c. That is equal to minus u raised to the power of minus 1 by minus 1 plus c. Minus of minus becomes positive. That is 1 by u plus c. Now that is 1 by 1 plus cos x plus c. So that is the final answer. Okay. Now let's do the next question. I have here, this is my question, I multiply the numerator, I mean I don't multiply the numerator, numerator is kept as it is, I multiply the denominator by cos x and divide it by cos x, any change cos x, cos x cancel, I get the same uh, expression, so this is, I can write this as root of tan x by sin x by cos x is what, tan x, right? Then I have a cos squared x into dx. Now further, this root x and root of tan x by tan x gives you what? 1 by root of tan x. 1 by ro root tan x in the denominator. Again, 1 by cos squared x is what? C squared x into dx. Now I substitute for u is equal to tan x. What is the derivative du is equal to C squared x dx. Now coming back I can write this as 1 by root u into du. C so, squared x dx is du. So we have this as integral of u raised to the power of half plus 1 by half plus 1. So what is that? Uh, plus c. Once the integration is over there is no need of the sign. So this is equal to u raised to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. That is multiplied by 2 by 3 plus c. Now what is u? 
that is 2 by 3 times u was tan, tan x raised to the power of 3 by 2 plus c. So this is the value, I mean this is the uh, answer that you are getting on integrating this expression. Am I clear? Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Here you need to identify what is that comes as the derivative of the given uh, function when taking it as u. Here if I think it, I club x plus 1 by x into x plus log x the whole square into dx. Now on further simplification I can write this as 1 plus 1 by x into x plus log x the whole square into dx. You had an x here. This was x. Okay, now if I take u is equal to x plus log x, what do you get? du is becoming 1 plus 1 by x into dx. Isn't it same as 1 plus 1 by x? Yes. So what can I write this? This is replaced with du and this expression is now my u. That is u square into du which gives me u cube by 3 plus c. What is u now? That is x plus log x, the whole cube by 3 plus c. So, this is the uh, integral of this function. This function. Now, uh, if you look at this, is again a board question. Now, coming to the next question, I will write this integral as 1 by 1 minus sin x by cos x into dx. Okay? Now on integrating, I mean on simplification, I get this as this is cos x minus sin x by cos x and that by cos x will go to the numerator. So can I write it as cos x by cos x minus sin x? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now I go for a substitution. That is, I multiply this by 2, divide it by 2. So this becomes 2 cos x by cos x minus sin x into dx. Now this is same as, I can even write this as 1 by 2 times, this is 2 cos x. I will split it cos x plus sin x, okay, plus cos x minus sin x. The whole divided by cos x minus sin x into what? The whole thing into dx you have here, okay. I have written dx there, okay. So, this is equal to, now I club these. This two I club, I club these two. And I divide each term, each of these uh, clubbed terms with cos x minus sin x. So, what do I get? 1 by 2 times integral of cos x plus sin x by cos x minus sin x into dx plus 1 by 2 times, because 1 by 2 is common, 1 by 2 times integral of cos x minus sin x by cos x minus sin x into dx. Now further this and this get cancelled. Now if I take u is equal to cos x minus sin x, only for this part here it went cancelled off. So what do you get du as cos x derivative is minus of sin x, isn't it? And minus of sin x derivative is uh, cos x. So cos x derivative minus of sin x here sin x is cos x. Of course you have a negative there and that is dx. Further I can write this as minus of sin x plus cos x minus common taken outside into dx. This implies minus du is equal to. I can take that minus this side also, isn't it? So that I can write minus du is equal to sin x plus cos x into what? Into dx. Okay. Now I re, uh, rewrite this as 1 by 2 times integral of 1 by u into du minus. There is a minus sign. This minus I have put it outside plus 1 by 2 into integral of dx. So now this is equal to minus 1 by 2 into log u plus 1 by 2 into x plus c. Now I am resubstituting for u as log of what was u? Cos x minus sin x plus half of x plus c. 
So this is how you integrate it. Okay, go through it. Now let's see another question. Integral of cortex into log sin x into dx. I substitute for u is equal to log of sin x. So what do you get du as? 1 by sin x. Log of sin x is 1 by sin x. That of sin x is what? Cos x into dx. Now what is cos x by sin x? That is cortex dx. Now you have cortex dx here. I can rewrite this as what? u into du. That is u square by 2 plus c. That is u is what? Log of sin x. The whole square by 2 plus c. Am I clear? So these are very simple questions from the first. Second exercise. No, no. Second exercise actually. Okay. Now coming to the next one. This I write this as 1 by sin square x into cos square x into dx. Now this one here, I will write this as sin square x plus cos square x by sin square x into cos square x into dx. Now this is integral of sin square x. I have, I have a common denominator. So with a common denominator, I divide each of the term in the numerator. So and common terms cancels off. So what do I get here? Cos squared x, cos squared x gone, sin squared x, sin squared x gone. That gives me integral of 1 by cos squared x plus integral of, I can write the dx here, integral of 1 by sin square x into dx. Now further I can write this as c squared x dx plus integral of cos squared x dx. Now what is integral of c x square? You know that it is tan x. What about my cos x squared x integral? Minus of cortex plus c. So this gives the value. Am I clear? Okay, go through it.